Hi, it's Derpy Moose 99 Today we're going to do episode 7 of Duck Pond. This is episode 7 of series 4, Duck Pond. And this is the island where we started on. Everything's looking uh, <laughs> like everybody's out of work there. So let's come over here. And our new town hall, we're using the mini town hall now. Let's have a look at our food graph. Slight rise, but not super duper. We have 40 homes, 41 families, and we have 115 citizens. We're in year 34. <laughs> Quite the contrast to uh, our Grow Bigger Go Home series. Uh, we're up from two hearts to three and a half hearts, and our happiness is four and a half, so not so bad there. And tools are okay, but probably of concern in the near future. We're starting to accumulate a little bit of stone, although I just laid down some stone roads, so that should probably erase all that. Logs are okay, thanks to our uh, dense tree shack here. And food's over 13,000, so I'm comfortable with that for the moment. Herbs are down to a 1. Um, well that's probably because there was a big rush once, once we put the herbs in. We've got a herb grower here. Yeah, 33 a year is not a ton. And this one won't tell us how many people it's served, but I'm sure all our herbs are going into picking our health up here. Uh, okay, so we got reeds and we have water scavengers. We have some rice farms starting. We have eight builders and four laborers. Um, so we can build some more stuff here, which is what I always like to do. Um, the question is, do we want to go down the road of furnace fuel? Because I don't think our, uh, if we go back to our main island here, our beginning island, we have a tiny mine with four people cranking out, and this cranks out directly iron, which is pretty cool. Um, but I have a feeling that's not going to last very long. So the question is, do we put another one of these in, or do we do the furnace fuel? And we've been buying, I think we've been buying candles here. Let's just go check our inventory. We haven't done that yet. Yeah, we have enough candles for one upgrade anyways. Um, so that can either be for our stone and salt mine here or for our mine over there. We haven't started using that one yet. So I think, and we have two houses going in here to rectify our housing shortage. Um, so let's let this stuff build. And then I think I'll build a few more, um, a few more rice farms. And then I'm going to play around with furnace fuel, I think. And more of a just-in-case kind of thing. And if we look at the tiny mine here, they don't seem to be uh, um, upgradable. But according to uh, Grumpy Gnome, what you can do with these things, unlike the other mines, is you can delete them and then re-add them. So that's something I'll definitely try. I'll keep working this one and see if we can exhaust it. And then we can play around with that. Okay, and as far as the expansion plans go, let's um, we've made landfall over in the on the left side here, and I think I'm gonna build up to this peninsula up here, and then once we're up there, we can build um, simultaneously east and west here. And the only other really big chunk of land is way down here. Um, to, I guess that's the southeast there. But that's uh, that's a ways, and it's also kind of diagonal building, if you know what I mean here. And if you're a banished player, you know what that's like to do. So I think um, I think building up is the next move here. Oops, hitting the wrong key here. So what I'm going to make sure I do, um, sort of like we were doing earlier, is every once in a while I'll just come over here, and I'll plop something onto the end here. And we'll just um, we'll try and make our way up there. All right, let's let her rip and see where we get the pig timer set. And I have a Starbucks coffee, so I'm a happy guy. Yeah, I made a. I upgraded this road to the stone here, up to the dock, and then down to the mine here. 
I don't think there's anything on our original island we need to upgrade yet. One little last piece to do there, guys. Feels so funny on this map building anything with stone. Okay. There's our two log cabins building. And we got a couple of reed farms and another workshop here. And I think that workshop, if I remember correctly, was for additional fire bundles here. Alright, so let's add on to our uh, rice row there and up here. Trader coming in. Alright. Grace says tea is done. Let's go. Now, in the interest of balanced diet here, I'm going to take all this stuff here. Probably technically don't need the eggs, but Actually, our funds are a bit limited, so 1998. We don't need the eggs, so. Alright, I am gonna go. I think firewood. Let's just go firewood here. Let's go 499. You know, if I could hit the right buttons here. And two flowers. And off we go. Uh, why didn't I say apricots? Alright, so that'll give us a little fruit and veg to uh, help us in our effort to uh, increase our health here. And that's the other thing we can do too, if I remember correctly, we bought olives, so we could put an orchard in over here somewhere. Which is probably not a terrible idea for us to do, so why don't we continue with the idea that the, uh, the main street is going to be stone do that. Another reed farm there. And a dock workshop which we're going to put on fire bundles here. Yeah, setting up one perfume um, yeah, that might be an idea. I just have a feeling that we're not going to get a ton of flowers. Although we did get a fair amount from here. But I have a feeling you get flowers when you clear the land. So, I don't know how much we're going to be doing. So, how many flowers do we have? And we actually have a fair amount. You know, that just might be a, might be a good idea here. Okay, um, let's figure out where... I could probably go there. So to do flowers, um, or perfume, put a perfumery there, and we also need, a water tower, and then I think for storage we can just go with some of these little guys here. So a food warehouse for the water. And then across the street we can do... Now we should probably do the bigger one there. 23 stone and 13 iron. Usually wouldn't worry about something like that, but yeah. Yeah, I think one... I'm surprised we had 4,000, so... Yeah, if nothing else, it's, um, that'll get us a bunch of um, trade goods worth 8 anyways. And if we don't have a sustainable flower production, we can always actually trade for them too. Buy them for one, sell, them, sell perfume for um, 8 or whatever it sells for. Yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. And where was I going over here? Yeah, what we're gonna do. I want to leave a room for a couple more lo rows of uh, log cabins here. Like something like that. 
And then I think what I want to do is put a couple of orchards in. So if I go um, orchard there. Oops, I'm going to let that build so I can see what the heck's going on. Then we can put the rest of it in. Um, I've had the problem with perfume before. Uh, well, let's actually test that, okay? I'll put this on pause. And, um, we'll crank this up. And I'm going to say 5,000. It won't get that much, but that's okay. And the water tower, there you go. Now let's just see, I think I've had this problem before, I'm not going to guarantee you, so let's just test it, but this is a regular storage here. Uh, no. Luxury items are... Fourth one down in the far left column here, right below food. So that's a zero right now. Okay, so we're building that orchard here, and I want to get more of these rice farms going, so I also want to keep building on our dock here. Although, speaking of luxuries, if we get enough rice going here, we can do some rice wine. I can break my rule of trading for food. Um, the flowers I think are on the ground, so when you clear ground, that's one of the things you collect. And I think a few from the forest are there. Yeah, I think they come from the forester, which strangely enough is where the fur and the pelts come from as well too. All right, what do we have? Soybean seeds. Hmm. Pretty useful, but I don't think so. I'm going to put a second person in the trading dock here, too. Uh, let's balance out our builders and stuff a bit better here. Yeah, I think one one. I mean, there's a big backlog, too. There's 5,000 or 4,000 in stock, so... I guess we should probably populate these as they come up. Eh, you know, go back in later. Okay, there's our orchard here. So let's actually start that with olives. Eh, we'll keep it on farmer pickup for the moment. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that was a good idea. So I'm going to put in... Actually, a road would make this much easier to line up. And why does that not work? Oh, gilly dokly, I put that orchard a little bit too tight there, okay. in there that I cannot all right let's go take two on the orchard here it is why I'm called derby moose after all So let's do that, and let's get a little bit of storage in there. Uh, 
Um, I think that roof. All right, and let's get a road running down this way. And I think what I'll do is I'll put a crop field on this side. Okay, so I'm thinking two crop fields. Uh oh, we got a question mark here. What did I do wrong this time? Farm, all oh, right, okay. Um, let's see where we're we going here. We're gonna put a road around here. All right, and then on the left side we'll do a farm. You know, this is kind of fiddly, but it has to be done. And orchard on that side. Alright, so this is all in the name of a little bit of food diversity here. Okay, let's see if our rice farms have built. Okay. It's going to cut into our builders by quite a bit, but it is food, so... Now it occurs to me that um, this storage, yeah, it's going to fill up pretty quick. So let's, um, I think we'll join things up here and then get some more storage going over there. Usually I would build grain silos, but I want to get stuff off of the island, not put more stuff on it, so. If it can be put on the water, we're putting it on the water. Well, there is a storage here we can unlock, so let's build that one too. Alright, and I think we were building up here for more fish as well, too. And we have this one standing by. Well, I think we're going to be good for food for a while, knock on wood. Okay, let's grab some coffee here. Oh, you got all kinds of stuff here. All of we already have, though. Um, we could buy your radishes. Not my favorite, but it is, uh... Different as a veg, I'm sure. Alright, now, how much perfume have we produced? 48. So there's nothing in there. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. Nothing there. How about this guy? No. This one? No. Nothing there. And I think we got our Celtic storage shed there, so there's nothing. So this is what he love radishes. Well, I think in a salad, I slice them thin and put them in a salad, I can deal with them, but eating them just by themselves doesn't work for me. You can have all the radishes and all the, uh, what do you call them things? Little green cabbage thingies. Um, I am going to turn this on. <laughs> so it, the perfume is not showing up in any of the storage and I think what this thing does is it jams up at 48 or some number of you know like what it's got in, in the building there and then it won't produce anything after that so I'm pretty sure that's what I ran into before so I always build this specialty 
General Alcohol Luxury Warehouse. Russell Sprouts, that was the name I should remember. Well, there you go. All right, so we've got a couple of crop fields here. And I'm going to leave this or other orchard for something else. Might be nice to get like a citrus or something like that. And let's do that. And I'm going to plunk in... Round this up with roads here. So between the rice, which we needed for grain, and whatever fruit and veg we can get, this should be uh, balancing out our diet. Um, let's clear stuff out of here. Oops, out of there as well too. All right, we got another trader here. Ooh, there's 10 hull components. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get those. And 200 stone. We look like we're semi-okay for iron at the moment. Alright, survival coats and... fur coats. Another 620. So that would be 41 plus 5 flowers here. And you're set for every visit, okay. I think I'm actually going to take... Let's actually take the flowers out of here. Now that we're making perfume. Much, um, much better to trade the perfume here. All right, um, <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to do some more storage here. I feel like we're forever building dog parts here. Um, can even build out there, I suppose. Yeah, there's our perfume going in there. And this thing here is now producing more. So, I don't know if that's by, by design or not, but certainly what I've run into in the past. All right, now, I want to do some furnace fuel, I think. So where do we want to do that? Well, why don't we say here? Yeah, that's exactly what I think because it stalled out at 48. So as soon as we built this storage, it moved that 48 over there and started producing again. So yeah, I, I agree totally with what you're saying. All right, so I want to do oh no man's here. Yeah. Okay. So so far this new mini town hall, the nomads have appeared right by the town hall, which is a good thing. So food graph is good. I'm totally of the, what the hell, let's take them. Alright, so how many houses do we need now? It says 15, so let's try around, I think, 10. So we had some ready here. And that's three. 
I think we're going to have a fair amount of people in the mine and we want to do the uh, um, furnace field down here, so. So that's six there. And I still want to expand over here for some more dock based fun, so let's put um, at least four more over here. Well, five seems to fit the plan there, so let's do that and keep building this out here. And I wanted to put some more storage for the rice here. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to keep building the dock large storage here. Okay, and we got a trader coming in here. And what have you got for us? Oh, more hull components. Our stone's pretty good. Iron's hanging in there. Looks like we have auto purchase for logs. Yeah, okay. I'm down with auto purchasing the logs here. Well, I want the building supplies. And I want the hull components. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford that. So let's go for 10 of the hull components. And we can swing that with firewood alone. So let's go 4 and then 2 and then... How about something like that? <laughs> wow, that wasn't even close. Let's try 5 and... Uh, 3 and... <laughs> Second time lucky. All right, I think I'll put an even. Let's put even another trader in there. Let's say goodbye. Where are we gonna put the whaling ships? Um, probably right in here. I mean, we've got storage there, which we can even increase here. So, can we fit those? We've got enough for two, I think. Why do I keep hitting that one? And we can get one in there. Hmm. Ooh. You know did a little teeny bit of surgery. Okay, if you don't like this kind of stuff, look away just for the moment. Alright, that sort of crams in too somewhere around the storage here, so that's okay. And we'll have to figure out some kind of press for him here. That's it. Hmm. Let's see if that one actually does uh, blubber here. You know, I probably should have left a little bit of room there. So why don't we knock out this? and put something a little more responsibly sized in. Hey, why, oh we need some more builders here, that would be why we're not building the houses here. So let's try that. Our fuel is not really keeping up here. Let's uh, let's punch in another couple of uh, workshops here.
Okay, it looks like we're almost connected there. Uh, somebody died in childbirth. I hate, absolutely hate that one. I wish that I wish I could mod that out. All right. Um, okay. You know, there's enough room down here for quite a few more farms and orchards. Ah, oh, here we go, lamp oil. Hmm. Well, they take perfume. That's worth a bit. What is all that lamp oil worth? <laughs> well, let's see what we can get. Okay, how many of these can we get here? You know, I'd love to get another couple hundred. 146, so let's go. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about a ton. This will be like, we won't do it again, but I think that'll count as sort of an emergency, emergency stash there. Eh, probably thinking too much, but I feel better with some in stock. Ah, we're out of tools. You know, I did say tools are going to be somewhat of a concern down the road here. <laughs> Speaking of which, um... <laughs> well, I was going to use this for furnace fuel. But, this might be better off to use as, uh... Uh, place for additional blacksmiths because we're going to have the iron mine will eventually be this one here now I don't think that space is quite wide enough for tools warehouse so yeah not quite going to work but we can try the narrow one and put a couple of those in Um, so let's turn all this other stuff off. And let's focus on building these guys up. You're slacking. The whole tool thing? Well, that's my fault. Not yet, no, I was going to work around to that. What I was thinking was build um, furnace fuel, get this mine due in iron, and then maybe put the, this is a stone and salt mine here, but maybe put the coal and iron version there, and then start doing the steel tools, so. Now we get 24,000 food in stock, so this shouldn't kill us, but you never know. I'm actually going to turn these workshops on because our fuel is kind of low. And let's see here. We can also use them for rough tools too to help us catch up here. So what do we have in the way of reeds here? Yeah, we got 8,679 reeds, so we should be okay there. Another couple people in that market there. No, it'll be fine. There's no death spiral here. Like I said, we got 23,000 food, so 
as long as I don't make more mistakes, we should be able to get out of this here. In fact, we can even go... For the moment, we'll just say goodbye to you. And we're going to put you on fire bundles eventually, both these guys, but let's put them on rep tools here just to help the recovery. <laughs> well, I think we already ate all the nut bread, but I get your point for sure. But, I mean, if we were at zero food, that would be probably the end of the village there, but... We have a ton of food in stock, so we should be good to go. Hmm. Looks like we're actually out of iron ore. Interesting. Probably get that um, stockpile. Replaced over here so we have something. Okay, there's only five people without tools right now, so I'm thinking we're probably going to get out of this okay. Celebrate by a drink of coffee, I think. Okay, I don't think we have to turn this one on, so let's just keep them in reserve here. Okay, everybody's got a tool, we actually have three in stock. Take one building supply. I was just thinking about upgrading these, but they use a lot of uh, stone and we don't have any at the moment. So let's max this guy out. It's built, it's uh, mining a bit of iron ore, it's just built up a bit of the stock. But we have enough tools now, so let's put these guys over on fire bundles here. Okay, and we actually have enough breeds where we could actually think about rope. And I think rope is an awesome trade good, so... Let's throw even more workshops in here. Maybe even two more of them. That's getting pretty long though, so we probably should even that out. Um, not yet, no. We should probably clear all the minerals out of here. So let's use the collect almost all. Yep, that's a good point. That'll actually get a bunch of stuff there. I 
And actually, if we said collect flowers here, let's see what we got. Yeah, quite a bit. Oh, there's even a few flowers growing in the dense tree shack, huh? I didn't think anything would grow in there. All right, how many houses are we short now? Six, it says. Well, it's a log cabin kind of town, I think. Just logs. There's a dock workshop. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about fuel, so I'm gonna put that one on fire bundles. And then this one we can make um, do rope, but keep an eye on the stock there. Do rope and uh, and keep this open. So as soon as we have some here, I'll put it in the trading dock. Okay, more coffee. Oh, I was going to build a few more houses over here as well too. So. Need another row here. Questing north here. So we have a bridge there and a bridge there, so we're good for bridges and stuff. Um, I have enough people now. Why don't we fire up this fishery here? Balance this out a bit. Hmm. I wonder if we need this halfway house anymore. Who's actually in there? Dock worker and a trader. It's probably not doing us a lot of good. out there. And these ones we can just turn off here. Our stone is bouncing back. Tools aren't awesome. Well, let's temporarily turn this one up and let's upgrade this one here. Actually, maybe let's do that with all of these here. And we'll upgrade these three. Um, let's get those houses in first though. Yeah, we're quite a bit short on housing. Okay, we need to build this out so we can put more houses in here. Right there, we've got some rope being produced. Let's go in here. And where are we here? 100 rope, I think. Well, this is the only trading dock right now. I'd say 200. And there goes the pig timer. Now, you guys say you're out of tools again here. 
Should not be so though. Okay, let's deal with the trader first and we'll figure out. Strawberries. Carrots, okay. And oat. Well, we don't really need the grain because we've got the rice, so let's, let's go for the cheaper one here. Plus carrots are better for you. So let's get the carrot seeds here. Our hearts are up to four. Okay, let's go over here. And we have two crop fields, so let's go carrots and Let's get those going. I like carrots. You know, you can roast them up, put a little drizzle, a little honey over them. It's not a bad way. All right. Now, just because I'm upgrading you guys, do you not have... Oh, we're out of iron. <laughs> Silly boy. Okay, we're still producing iron ore. So, let's put you on rough tools here. Yeah, two of you on rough tools and uh, leave one of you on iron. Alright, which means we should start thinking about... Okay, I was going to do furnace fuel, so let's, uh, let's actually put that plan in action here. I'm just gonna let's deal with this and then we'll end the episode here. So industrial fuel. And I don't think there's any reason to build the small one, so let's just build the big boy here. And let's do an industrial fuel stockpile too. Alright, and then we can start getting actually iron out of the mine instead of iron ore. Yeah, I think we'll end the episode here. So let's um, let's do an end of episode summary. So first of all, I derped up on tools, but we should be able to fix that fairly quickly here again. Um, we are quite a bit short on homes, so next episode we'll have to build some houses. Our education is a bit of a hit with the nomads but our health is coming up to four we were at two actually before so i'm happy with that our food graph is going up other than tools our inventory is looking pretty good wow we're 7300 flowers now we might even sneak another perfumery in but we'll think about that next episode so all right this is um duck pond banished with mega mod uh series for episode seven and uh, yeah okay i think we're doing okay other than the whole tool thing so i'm derpy moose 99 take care